Hi students, today we have Achit Kamat with us. He is going to handle uh, control systems and uh, signals and systems with us. He got his B.Tech from MSRIT Bangalore and he got his Masters from IIT Kanpur and presently he is pursuing PhD also in IIT Kanpur only. He is uh, as usual my ex-student when I was in Bangalore, when I had uh, initial, he was trained by me. So now he will tell his feelings about signals and systems and controls and controls. Okay. So Achit, yes. tell me what do you feel about signals and controls? All right, sir. Uh, so first of all, I would like to uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to be a part of this institution. And it's uh, my pleasure that I'm working with one of the legends and my professors who taught me. So uh, about controls and signals, I would like to say a couple of things that I have observed. People feel that uh, controls is uh, very easy, whereas uh, signals is very difficult uh, from the scoring point of view. And uh, both of the subjects are not optional because uh, in large percentages they come in both the exams. Yes. May it be IES or GATE. GATE or any exam. Right, any exam, any exam you take, these two are definite uh, sure short questions. At least a yes. couple of them you will get. And yes. uh, you will also see in my lectures that I am handling usually these questions. Yeah, you had experience of uh, teaching also, no? Yes, I had experience of teaching as well. So yeah, you taught in uh, Lucknow, you taught in uh, I Kanpur taught in Kanpur uh, and uh, uh, some Bangalore of the cla also. classes in Bangalore as yes. well. Yes, yes. So from those experiences, what I have realized particularly is that people say control is easy mainly because of the fact that they are able to solve this uh, typical uh, mainstream or conventional problems. Okay, uh, given an equation, apply the formula, directly get it. So they will solve a couple of questions and they feel very confident that yes, I know everything in that. And they say it's very easy. But actually it is not the truth. Uh, what has happened, recently we released our uh, answer key for IES, mm -hmm. uh, prelims that was there. And I was given the task of solving the controls and signals questions. IES never asked difficult questions ever. Yes. They have asked very yes. simple questions. It's yes. just that they're very, very, very intricate in the concept. So it is necessary for students to understand that it's not only problems uh, knowledge that is needed, but also the fact that they should also be able to focus on concepts also and problems also in sufficient balance. Coming to the second subject that I'm handling, signals and systems. People uh, don't have signals and systems for some reason in the syllabus. I don't know who told whom. This rumor has spread that signals is not a Part electrical subject which is actually false because people uh, people who say that also say that power electronics is definitely an electrical subject and uh, start taking harmonic distortion in power electronic converters they teach uh, crawling in induction motors the moment you start teaching them and you are telling that all this is caused because of harmonics all this is caused because of harmonics from where do the harmonics come right yes. that is four year series i know it's a part of mathematics but actually, if the subject of signals and systems, if it is there in the curriculum, people should be able to easily connect that particular yeah, concept to power electronics. Not only in Bangalore, uh, even in Andhra Pradesh also. Right. I don't know why many of the universities don't have signals and systems at BTEC level. Right. Only because of that only, people are feeling difficulty in signals and systems. Right. So my task at hand now will be to make people confident in signals and systems as much as what they are currently confident in control okay and make their control system knowledge even more better so that they really feel that control is easy and they are not just saying that because of some hypothetical one or two problems what they have solved okay and uh, as far as um, i am concerned i am a hardcore electrical engineer sir yeah, okay? yeah I, know, I know i love electrical engineering so i will con connect all these strategies of controls and signals to electrical engineering concepts. Yes. The whole point of me taking charge of these two subjects in this institution is mainly because I feel that controls and signals complement all the subjects that you are teaching. Yes. yes. Particularly yes. power electronics, yes. machines, power systems, mm -hmm. whatever you are handling, everything needs a flavor of signals in it. Yes. Without signals and systems, all the theory what you are going to give mm -hmm. will be welcome because without that you cannot perform any sort of analysis. Okay, yes. so you are so going to uh, say, uh, compliment. Definitely, me. I will definitely compliment you. That's great. That's in that, uh, and I hope that uh, people who will be attending my class at the end will know not only the big big problems like 
it's very easy to give a very big problem and people solving that problem everybody can do that mm-hmm. that's the reason you see when uh, i have attended many interviews uh, in different iits psus all of that they will never ask you a big problem because they know that you can solve the big problem mm-hmm. what they will ask is they'll ask you exactly something very intricate very intricate as uh, something like uh, uh, why do you use only laplace transform why not fourier transform and analyze the entire uh, control yes, system yes actually this Nobody question uh, yeah right? professor asked me also many yes. times yes many times and in interviews and also public sector interviews. and uh, yes. and people don't know and there are some misconceptions also that i want to clear like people say that uh, uh, there is a very famous question that in signal sense systems most of the time uh, and even in frequency domain analysis of control systems we apply sinusoidal waveforms people say that uh, why we do analysis using sinusoidal is because uh, generating sinusoidal is easy the differentiation is very ah, yeah, easy yeah, actually right? yeah i have wished to discuss uh, i used to discuss this particular question yes, yeah. in my machine class yes, yes right yes. but being an electrical engineer from almost 8 uh, years now sir mm-hmm. the most difficult uh, waveform to generate is the sinusoidal you can yes. for somehow generate square mm-hmm. but you can never generate sinusoidal mm-hmm. <laughs> right so what is my aim is that i want to see to it that such concepts such misconceptions that are there mm-hmm. have to be cleared not only from the exam point of view because in the exams so they may definitely ask something big where a small failure in a concept like this can cause a big blunder and mm-hmm. you will be several steps back and because this is something that you told me that uh, in gate you miss one question and if another person is able to solve it you will not jump by one rank yes you will jump yes. by a thousands of ranks yes true. and that will affect everything mm-hmm. and i know that i have had first hand experience i have seen it very close by this mm-hmm. particular uh, fall back and all of this so i will see to it that my students who will attend my class will be able to clear all of this confusions all the problems also they will be able to solve and last but not the least i will also tell them how to make notes because what is yes, happening it is important uh, people when they prepare for ies in particular and uh, people who write uh, uh, these are the same people who are having even btech exams mm-hmm. all right so whenever we talk about ies or gate what is happening is people are feeling that the syllabus is somewhere very far mm-hmm. it is nothing related to them and it is not my cup of tea is what people say yeah whereas it is actually false because sometimes if you look at the board papers or the university papers of engineering they are more difficult than ies uh, exam papers and uh, gate yes. papers yes all right so i have to remove that misconception first i will show that how close they are and wh- how why is it a different why is it a competitive exam there will be just a very small you know step mm-hmm. in the problem very small thing that will upset the entire plan mm-hmm. and uh, the sad part about all of this uh, exams is that uh, whenever they give options the most obvious wrong answer will be option a so and you will feel that you will get it and you will take that and come so mm-hmm. such things should be removed so i will see to it that i will be able to solve all of this yeah that's what my intention also our uh, this present organization policy is that policy is a btech student from maybe second year if any student join by final year he should get the rank in that way we have to guide them and support them but in bangalore we used to have one year course right yes. so you joined in final year no sir i joined you in second year oh really yes yeah. i don't think you remember uh, so actually yeah if anybody can join second year yeah second year third year final year my target is by final year he should get btec certificate yes he should get gate yes he should get whatever the exam he is fe- he is feeling to face means technically right. from technically electrical engineering point of view everything should be cleared yes. from our uh, yes. thing yes. and one more thing is we don't have any limitations right so directly one rural student can take right okay so we don't have any limitations of time right. any time whenever they have access yes. the whenever they have time they can access our videos and uh, in a way he is heading the team of doubt discussions of uh, controls and signals he is only his team is there behind him so his team is going to handle the doubts whenever you get any doubt of controls or signals first he will see okay so archit we should be able to combine complete electrical engineering to a single point there is nothing like signals is stop or there is nothing like machines is stop okay so we are going to provide soon right definitely most certainly sir whatever you have said is right the all of the subjects are one i have uh, never treated 
electrical mm-hmm. engineering as 44 different subjects it yes. was always only one subject for me yes full engineering full engineering otherwise somebody like me would have not been able to get a gold medal or get a seat in iit because uh, i am a average student with an average mentality and mindset i like to do easy things and i feel electrical engineering is very easy for me mm-hmm. because everything converges to one point yes and i am very proud of that fact that electrical engineering is like that so right. signals and systems application will be there yes. in electrical power electronics yes and in ece communications also hmm. but of course we may not have communication to that much depth yes but in ece we have communications right so you have to take care of connecting signals to both power electronics also and communications also yes so because our guys are only yeah. electrical yeah my electrical. strategy for that is mm-hmm. that uh, when you will call an electronics and communication faculty to handle communication for electrical kits they suddenly feel that it is some other branch subject yes. so he is already an expert so he may be hiding some concept which may be is a basic but i am not able to understand so that concept will come the whole point why i agreed to take signals and systems and when you asked me prior to this uh, session that uh, will you also handle communication based concepts i agreed for that is because if a electrical engineer who is studying on that side of this camera right now will hear communication from an electrical engineer from this side who is teaching him he will feel more comfortable comfortable and uh, connection definitely there will be more connections stuff. and i will be able to tell him what uh, how he can connect the communication concept to something in electrical only so that he will feel that it is something of his own mm-hmm. okay otherwise what happens i my, i myself have felt that when somebody is teaching me communications uh, that maybe he is hiding something maybe he feels that i should know a trivial thing mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which is there in electronics and communication but i do not know even in that. present uh, coaching centers what's happening is uh, our students know that means a few ec guys will be there electrical guys guys will be there combinedly they will conduct signals and systems right. so the moment signals and systems faculty take the class they feel ec guys are more connected to it mm-hmm. electrical guys normally don't attend much classes right because because of lack of that relationship definitely sir okay. and uh, my personal feeling is that uh it's also the coaching center is responsible for it as you told yes that the faculties in the coaching center are not telling them that it is nothing to do with electrical or electronics and communication signals and systems is actually an extension of mathematics yes okay yes you you being a faculty of such a subject it's your responsibility to tell the kids that it is this can easy. be applied in this manner to this subject this yes. can be applied in this manner to whatever subject you want to do it like how i told you that when i'll be handling power and energy signals a classification of signal uh, in the syllabus which i'll be taking in that i will be teaching them to calculate uh, average power mm. energy of a signal all of these things i'll be teaching how they can use the first instantaneous uh, thought will be that uh, yes we can apply that in networks you are taking network analysis as well we can apply that in networks but there is a far more deeper relationship than that and that particular relationship is this in power electronics the moment you see a waveform uh, of a converter wouldn't it be wonderful to just see the waveform and say that this is the total harmonic distortion without even yes. having to touch the pen yes right and that can happen only if a signals and system faculty teaches it because mm-hmm. power electronic faculty if he is busy teaching that also yes. when we really cover all these characteristics of the semiconductor ele- and it's massive <clears throat> right and frankly speaking uh, i did not uh, understand signals in my btech and now like uh, if i want to take signals it is not possible for me so signals faculty has to connect that to power electronics definitely. power electronics faculty will take power electronics only definitely so anyway point here is we'll be able to match everything complete electrical engineering we are meant for electricals right only electricals so i don't say signals and systems is part of ec and electrical so signals and systems i will offer for ec no our courses are meant for only electricals let us match everything to a unified single point for sure we will prove it let's rock so dear thank you thank you